Today in the news, AMD might make a big move, a 14 core CPU, and big millimeter wave energy. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD, and we got a wild rumor on our hands here. Currently, AMD and other manufacturers such as Apple, Nvidia, and other big players are in a huge battle for wafer allocations at TSMC. This is one of the main reasons for the huge lack of inventory that has been plaguing gamers for the last few months and that will likely plague us for the foreseeable future. So it all comes down to TSMC's capacity for AMD products. According to reports from analysts, late last year, AMD and Apple will be the two largest customers for TSMC this year, and apparently AMD will take over Apple for the number one spot early next year. But AMD has a large portfolio of products, and according to the latest rumors, AMD might be considering Samsung as a chip manufacturer too. We know that the two are already cozy when it comes to their RDNA design for mobile products, so the relationship is already partially there. What this rumor says is that AMD is in the midst of making a big change. Instead of possibly risking another shortage and cope with the possible limited production capabilities of TSMC, AMD would offload some APUs and GPU manufacturing by designing them for Samsung's fabrication process. Because well, you can't just move a 7 nanometer product from TSMC into 7 nanometer for Samsung. Now take this information with a grain of salt, but it does make strategic sense for AMD to go this route. Not only are they kind of doing that already right now by getting their IO dies manufactured at a bigger node by global foundries, but we also see the same thing happening from other companies in the industry. Nvidia, for example, uses TSMC for their data center grade GPUs while using Samsung for their mainstream GPUs. And Intel is using their own fabs for data center and low power products while using TSMC for their upcoming HPG gaming GPUs. So yeah, if AMD decides to go this way, we won't feel it right now, but if you were waiting for the next generation to upgrade, things might be a little bit easier than it was this generation. Also, in AMD news, we got this. Yep, just the picture. What you're seeing here is just the official logo slash branding for AMD's upcoming 6700 XT. It was leaked by Andreas Schilling over on Twitter and is coupled with a small note from the leaker. 1440p gaming as a focus and 12 gigabytes of GDDR6. It's information that we already knew because of rumors, but it's nice to have confirmation. Moving on, we got Intel. Remember that desktop GPU that Intel just released that's only made for OEMs and only compatible with a specific combo of motherboard and CPU? Well, here is what it looks like without its cooler. More specifically, Igor's lab managed to find and tear down one of the DG1 SDVs that were first distributed for development. It's such a small die, which makes sense since it's usually part of a mobile CPU substrate. In any case, we still don't have any performance numbers because, well, it was incompatible with Igor's rig uh, besides displaying an 800 by 600. But he says that it's about comparable to a GT 1030. Also with Intel, an Alder Lake CPU was spotted on Geekbench. As we know, Alder Lake employs a big dot little setup for its generation, and this specific CPU has 14 cores and 20 threads. In that case, the 14 cores are split as six big cores with 12 threads and eight small cores, which are all single threaded. This specific setup is apparently the highest core count for the upcoming mobile series of Alder Lake CPUs. On the desktop platform, that would be eight big cores for eight small. Next up, if you wanted big brain energy, and by that I mean a possible brain tumor, we got Xiaomi. The company just unveiled a product called the uh, Mi Air Charge that apparently charges your phone wirelessly, but this time truly wirelessly. No docks, no stands, just your phone in your hands or pocket, but that wouldn't rhyme. Anyways, it has 144 antennas, and thanks to those, it can charge your device using beamed millimeter waves straight to your device. According to the video, it can deliver five watts at a few meters. Plus, it would support multiple devices simultaneously. Now, I say would support because it has not been tested yet, and so far, it's just a showcase. 
And that is pretty much it for the catch-up, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here or here to see some more relevant content or subscribe. Don't forget to stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.